So what's going on, Trucketeers? It's the Truck Guy here. Wanted to get back to you with another video, and I know it's been a while. We are back, 2023. Sorry, it's been a couple weeks, but I wanted to refresh a little bit, bring in some new knives, start getting creative with you guys, and right out of the gates, we are reviewing the Anvil Compact Quick Change Folding Knife. It is going to be a fun one, so let's go ahead and get into the video, and let's do it. So Anvil, what is Anvil? I did a little research on Anvil, and it's basically, I think it's a Home Depot brand. From what I can gather, it replaced HDX, if you're familiar with that, and the, the orange branding at Home Depot, so it was kind of one step below Husky. Now it's all looking like Anvil, and I've always known this brand as just the bargain basement brand at Home Depot. They kind of sell everything and it's really kind of more in that one-time use category. But I've seen some pretty cool Anvil stuff out there and sometimes, you know, if you're in that little bit of a niche looking for something, all you see is, is Anvil. So it's great to have it available as an option when we're perusing the aisles at Home Depot. And if we've got a tough job, sometimes it makes sense to go with Anvil. Does it make sense for a utility knife? I want to jump into this and see what we think. So it's model number 1004658290. That does not roll off the tongue. We're going to have to send them over to Milwaukee to get some lessons about how to brand their utility knives. But it's neither here nor there. This is a cheap knife. So let's go ahead and get it out of the packaging and see what we think. So we'll get it out of the packaging and as you can see... Even being a cheap knife, it's got quick change and it's a folding knife. So I'm really impressed by both of those features. Really, we shouldn't be, but it's such a cheap knife that uh, we are impressed. And it was $3.98 at Home Depot. You can even pick up cheaper Anvil Utility Knives. Comment down below if you want to see those cheaper knives and we will bring them to you because we have fun on this channel and we check out all brands including Anvil. So, right out of the gates, in the hand, it actually feels good in the hand. It's extremely light. This is probably the lightest utility knife I've ever reviewed on this channel. So, it's, it's featherweight. It's, it, it's absolute featherweight. But, I kind of like that. It's, it's kind of cool to, to have a knife that is so light that, um, you know, you can flick it around, flip it around, and, you know, you're probably wondering, is that dangerous? Yeah, it's a little bit on the dangerous side, I would say. Once you've got this protector off, and Anvil is looking out for us, they're protecting us, they're throwing the protector on there. 398, and they're still giving us one. So props to Anvil for keeping us safe, protected, always having our back. Thank you, Anvil. But, in all seriousness... You know, it feels okay in the hand, it's very compact, and, you know, obviously extremely light. So, in terms of features, it looks like the first feature, we've got a button that uh, runs through the knife, so it's on both sides. You can pull it back with your index finger and your thumb, and you can fold the blade into the handle of the knife. So that gets extremely compact. I mean, that that's going to, you know, just fly down to the bottom of your pocket. Again, it's so light, you're not even going to notice you have it on there or in there for that matter. So from that perspective, I actually like what Anvil is doing. We've got a featherweight knife. We can drop it in our pocket. You know, it's not going to be big and bulky and heavy and feel like, you know, hey, I, I don't want this thing in my pocket. Um Additionally, from there, obviously, you can um, extend the blade out to full extension. I will note that it doesn't fully lock down, but there is some tension there. So it is going to, um, you know, it is going to retract down and into the knife. So in terms of safety, it's not the safest knife, but it's not unsafe, if that makes sense. So... Once we pull the knife blade back out and get the knife fully extended, there is a lock there and the locking mechanism that we've shown you. It's similar to 
the Milwaukee button lock in terms of the mechanism, but it's a completely different style. And then up top, we will take our protector off. We're going to live dangerously. We're going to we're going to live on the edge here with Anvil. So hopefully there are no mistakes filming this video and you don't see any cuts on the truck guy by the end of this. I'm hoping for that, that's for sure. But once you get that open, there's a pretty simple quick change up top. So it's just a button you press and they've actually got this um you know, kind of a larger tab on the top of the, the blade holder, which is interesting. It gives it some bulk. Obviously, you could just have the button right on the side of this kind of uh, the black part of the holder, but they're giving us, um, you know, a little bit more width, which is kind of nice for your fingers because it gives you something more substantial to grab onto. You're not, you know, trying to press against, a you know, a very small, thin piece of plastic. So it gives it some... Um, substantial nature so you press that and it pretty much flies right out um, you know you can definitely feel that plastic you know gets pressed in when you press the button and you get a little bit of resistance in that blade just trying to get it out and then get it back in because again the plastic is you know somewhat flexible so that in turn is gonna you know not give you kind of the rigidity that you might get with, you know, um, some metal housing or, you know, a very more high quality plastic knife would even give you that, um, that, that different feel. So quick change, it works in, out, no issues there. Um, you know, you can pull it back out and you're going to hear it lock. So there is a little bit of wiggle and a little bit of wobble. And the other area that I want to mention is with this, you know, what I'm going to call it is a, a button lock. There is also some wiggle and wobble up top. So if you're doing a really tough job and really putting pressure on this blade, you know, it that's up to you as, as to whether you want to, to go through with that. And hopefully there are no issues. But if you've got a tough job, I do not know if I'd turn to the anvil. Um at three dollars and 98 cents i'd probably look at something that's a little bit more substantial that you can um you know put some more pressure on and not feel like it's going to break on you because it doesn't matter what utility knife you have all of these blades are extremely sharp and can definitely do some damage so other than that there's not too many features you've got the lanyard loop so they mention you know um as part of the product that you can put this on a tether you can put it on your keychain i think it's probably a little too bulky for a keychain because you're looking at you know about you know three and a half inches or so and a couple inches wide so that's probably not something i'm gonna do but you know they like to advertise as a feature they're obviously trying to promote the anvil utility knife so we're going to give them credit there but i don't think that's much of a feature there's really not a great one hand open on this um, you really got to utilize two hands get it open um, I do like the downward angle on this knife it's you know very small you can fit your index finger up front and there's a groove for your middle finger so it does fit well I just don't even know if I trust this for cutting up cardboard because when I do that you know even cardboard we all get tons of Amazon boxes <laughs> we might be looking for a solution but you know, would you go with Anvil or would you, you know, go with something a little bit higher quality like the 1505? Obviously, you've got the screwdriver built in here, but you're not going to run, you know, generally more than 15, 20 bucks for something like the 1505 versus you're already spending four bucks on the Anvil. So I would use this for kind of some quick and rough jobs like, you know, painting, um, really kind of digging into something and then you're going to toss this or you're going to get it covered in dirt, things of that nature. It's more of a, you know, you're probably going to be able to count the number of times on your hand that you utilize a knife like this and then you toss it in the garbage. That's okay. That's what Anvil's for. That's, you know, what Anvil has done for me in my experience. The 1505, that's, you know, a knife that you're going to have for, for years and you're going to, you know, put new blades in over time and really, you know, utilize it from that perspective. One thing that threw me off a bit about the anvil is, you know, 
I thought there was maybe more going on with this quick change where you, you know, some you'll pull up a tab and release the blade. So on the Stanley quick slide, which is the 810, that's exactly what you do here is you lift up the tab and that acts as your quick change. So I thought maybe something like that was going on. Um, it turned out that it's just a button, so you press it, but it's kind of an interesting design from Anvil. I'm surprised they went to the lengths of building that out and, you know, upgrading that front, um, and for that matter, the quick change of, um, you know, this utility knife. It just seems unnecessary. I think I'd go with something more basic, but again, if you get into something like this, you've got to have some flexible metal up top. So maybe that's kind of what they were thinking. But again, it just seems a little um, like it's adding more frills than are probably necessary or expected from this anvil knife. So in addition, I wanted to check out if the anvil knife could take the traditional utility knife blades. It says it accepts almost all of them. But I've run into some of these cheaper knives where they say, hey, it accepts all utility knife blades and the blade, I don't know if it's, you know, where they're getting these blades, but sometimes kind of the traditional blade doesn't fit in. So we'll try a Stanley and see if that fits in. So we'll eject that blade with our quick change and we'll see if the Stanley fits and the Stanley does fit. So nice job by Anvil by just making it standard and again, you're probably asking yourself, why wouldn't it be standard? And it 100% should be. The problem is sometimes they aren't. And that's what I want to check for you guys is kind of dig into the minutia of some of these utility knives and see, you know, is this something I should be concerned about? You know, is it going to deter me from, you know, taking the leap? Not that it's a big leap for Anvil, but on all of our utility knives that we review on this channel, is it something that I want to pick up knowing a little bit more information about the knife that you're hearing from this channel? So that's the point is you hear it here first, you get an overview of something like a utility knife. Obviously we've got plenty of other jobs that we do on this channel, but utility knives, they're front and center as we know um, in you know the home improvement world, in the construction world, if you don't have a knife on you, you're dead in the water. So with that, that's the anvil knife. I hope you enjoyed it. Go pick it up if you're looking for a cheap knife that you can utilize, be rough on, and toss it. But again, don't be too rough because you want to be safe as well. So that's it. I may recommend picking it up. You know, I'll throw anvil bone. I think I'll recommend it. Um, you know, you can't go wrong. Four bucks. You've got another utility knife to add to your repertoire. So, it is what it is, guys. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the video. And if there's something more you want to see or a knife you want to see, definitely hit up the comments down below. And I will do my best to give it a run for its money. So that's it, guys. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, we'll talk to you on the next video.